sunspots here. There we go. A little dark there in the bottom. Let's uh, adjust our. Uh, that just made. Yeah, let's see, it's. There we go. Hey, welcome back. All right, we got vertical going now. Got a few minutes here with the sun before it goes below the tree line. And we are looking at it live through a telescope in Pennsylvania. My name's Nate, I do space and live astronomy. And we're checking out the sun today before the storms hit. It's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? Hey Trev, hi Army Mom, Mama Nova Secrets. Thank you guys for being members. Uh, if you wanna be a member, uh, that really helps the channel, thank you. But uh, be sure to like the live and, 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 and subscribe if you like space and astronomy stuff. Um, I go live with the sun, the moon, the stars, and the planets as often as I can. Tonight we're going to have some storms, so I wanted to share something with you beforehand. This is the sun with sunspots. And then we're going to go to... Uh, we might go to the moon tomorrow morning with Venus and Saturn. Um, that'll be tomorrow morning, though. You're at practice right now, and this looks amazing. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I do Saturn. Yeah. Actually, when I first got this telescope... This, this one, because it's my favorite one, but it's also, also the first one I ever got. Eight inch Dobsonian, an Orion X-T8. Uh, the first object I, I, I uh, dialed up was Saturn. And when I saw Saturn with its rings, the hair on my neck stood up and I had this feeling of like just com speechless, just completely speechless. Because although I, I do my best to give you the best representation view through this, when you look through the eyepiece of a large telescope, there's nothing like it. It, it like, I, I don't want to be dramatic, but it like changed my life. And that was Saturn. But my favorite object is Jupiter. I really love Jupiter. You have a nice, Wayne. Awesome. So be sure to subscribe, guys, and uh, maybe share this out. We only got a short bit with the sun. But yeah, I do space and live astronomy here on YouTube. And glad you guys are here. And see how the viewership is up? The, f the folks that were on the widescreen one? I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it, I don't know. I think they're pushing uh, vertical stuff, so. First time I heard Jimi Hendrix and Eddie Van Halen, you got the same feeling, nice. Where are you guys all tuning in from? I'm in Pennsylvania. This is a telescope view of the sun and sunspots. So like we can zoom out, we can zoom in. I can zoom like really far in, but it, it might get a little fuzzy because it's real low to the horizon. When you're low to the horizon, it gets kind of tricky. And the movement you're seeing of the sun, this is a stationary telescope, um, that's earth rotating. And those spots you see are sunspots. Those are cooler areas of the sun's surface and they're caused by magnetic fields there that are about 2,500 times stronger than the magnetic fields here on Earth. They're so strong and get concentrated in certain areas that they actually inhibit convection because convection with the plasma on the sun of the nuclear fusion of hydrogen and helium. So a little, little technical there, but um, 
The main thing is the temperature drops by 3,000 degrees. The surface temp of the sun is around 10,000. In those areas, 65 to 7,500. And putting a white light solar filter on a telescope, you can observe them. And that's what we're doing today. Never look at the sun with a telescope without proper solar equipment because you could uh, really hurt your eyes. And those regions we call active regions and they can produce uh, solar flares and eruptions like coronal mass ejection CMEs. Those CMEs, if directed at Earth, give us the northern lights. So there's a whole process of it. Um, I'm seeing a lot of states, Canada, Santa Barbara, Deutschland, Ireland, Missouri. Where are you guys tuning in from? I'm in PA. Shout out your, uh, your country, your flags, uh, and let me know your favorite space thing about space. You know, my favorite thing, Jupiter. Well, my favorite object to see is Jupiter. Oh, okay. I, I, need, I might need to wait on the telescope because this dot, it, we're getting low to the horizon. Jersey, New York City, Zambia. We're looking at a live view of the sun through a telescope. Hello, humans. Hello, earthlings. How are you earthlings doing? Pretty cool, right? That's what the, we're looking at the sun. Nashville, okay. You like nebula? All right. Yeah, nebula, like, nebulae or whatever, it's just gorgeous. We will be getting stormed out and clouded out here soon, so uh, if you, um, I don't know how long. It doesn't look like long. Maybe in, within five minutes. Just to let you know. So. I don't play favoritism. <laughs> Les, yeah. You got that atomic empathy, as I call it. Sunspots. Hello. Hi, guys. Be sure to subscribe um, and turn on notifications so you know the next time I'm live because uh, we have some spotty weather. I'm going to show you here at the end of this because we're going to get clouded out. These, these storms are coming in. They look pretty wicked. We are looking at, I'm trying to focus. I think, I think it is more focus. That is focused. Um, the sun is 94 and a half um, million miles away. Jorge has been posting. Good, good. Jorge is joining YouTube now. And uh, also look up Dr. Ryan French. Those two physicists are that um, I work with them frequently on my content because I'm not a physicist, but I want to deliver like the best accurate, reliable information for you guys on a lot of things. So those two, those two, those two folks are amazing. We are looking at the sun through a telescope right now. Here, I'll zoom out. And the sun is setting, about to get clouded out. So uh, we're checking out the sunspots. Those sunspots right there are much larger than Earth. Much larger than Earth. Now the sun averages around 93 million miles away from us, but I think today, right now, it's around 94 and a half. And it gets really tough with my telescope to be this low to the horizon. But uh, yeah. Pretty cool. The sun is not fire, the sun is plasma. It's nuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium. And eventually, once it goes through all of its uh, hydrogen, it's gonna start burning off helium. And that's when it turns red and gets really big, so big that it'll probably like grow to like Mars around the, 
distance of Mars. This is in four and a half billion years or something like that. And uh, Earth will probably lose our, um, we'll go hyperbolic or something. We'll get slingshotted off into the cosmos. I don't think it'll swallow us, but it will become a red giant, yeah. And then once it's done with the helium, then the sun will shrink way down to something about the size of Earth as a white dwarf and cool off for billions of years. But don't worry, that's not happen for, happening for billions of years. All right, we're good. All right, guys, here comes the storms. I'll show you the storm clouds here in a moment and the cat and uh, bid you guys a good evening and then start packing up because th these storms are moving in quick. All right, here we go. So here's the telescope. This is an eight inch Dobsonian, four feet long, eight inch diameter and the sun. But now you can see the storm clouds. Look at those. They're coming to take over and it's looking like it's gonna get rainy here soon. So I'm gonna pack up the telescope and get going. But there's the sun and there's me. Yay, woo. Wait, hold on, there, there. The sun and the cat says hi yeah you you know the storm's coming huh all right so this will post up and i hope you guys have a wonderful night be sure to subscribe and uh, turn on notifications so you know the next time i'm live because i do have some spotty weather it's going to be random when i'm live sometimes i'm live at 4 a.m or 10 a.m or right now stuff like that okay so have a good day guys and we'll see you soon